What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Techers and today it's my predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. Let's get into my lineup. So in goal I'm going to go with Edward Mendy. He didn't really have a lot of much to do against Southampton. The only thing he had to do really was just pick balls out of the air and of course pick the ball out of his net once after Minamino scored. Um, right centre back Aspilicueta, I think he'll still keep his place even though him and Zuma had a massive gap that made Minamino run through with a very, very good through ball by Redmond. And then he tried to run back and tackle him, but then he just got sat on his ass, and so did Mendy. Then central centre-back, I think it'll be a return for Thiago Silva. Zuma does not work in a three, I'm sorry. As much as I like him, I don't think he works in a three. And then left centre-back, I'm going to go with Tony Rudiger. I think he'll play as the left centre-back. He didn't really have much to do against Southampton. Right wing-back, I'm going to go with Callum hudson Adoy. I think he'll start a right wing back. Maybe because of the thing what Tush was said that he was disappointed with him, it could be that he wants him to play a more minutes against Atletico Madrid than he has and he did against Southampton. The centre midfielders are going to go with Jovacic. I know Kanzi played absolutely brilliantly, but I do think Junior and Mateo Kovacic will start in the midfield. Left wing back, I'm going to go with Marcus Alonso. I think he'll play as a left winger. He didn't really do much. The only thing he did against Southampton was that volleyed shot that went into the ground and out for a goal kick. Then in the two cam rolls, I'm going to go with two. I'm going to go with Kai Havertz. I think he should return, even though Tuchel said he would have been in the squad for Southampton, but he wasn't in the squad at all. We don't know what happened with that. And then Cam and the other Cam, I'm going to go with Mason Mount, probably our best performer in the game against Southampton, alongside N'Golo Kante. Mount scored the penalty, and he had a lot of chances late in the game, but unfortunately didn't capitalise on them. And up front, I'm going to go with Timo Werner. Unfortunately, Tammy Abraham didn't do well in the game against Southampton. He got brought for half-time. But I thought it was a bit too early that we rushed him a little bit back from his injury, I thought. Let's get into the opposition side of things. So our opponents, Atletico Madrid, they are first in the league. They are doing absolutely amazingly in the league. They are uh, overcoming pressures of Barcelona and Real Madrid. The manager, Diego Simeone, has been there for a quite a long time. And he's a very, very good manager. So then their last, f their last five games was a 2-0 defeat. On the weekend against Levante at home, which is their first defeat at home for a while. And then they drew in the game before that, and then they won, and then drew, and then won. The dangerous player, Luis Suarez, who scored 20, who scored 16 goals in 20 games. He's still a threat. Even age 34, I still think it was an absolute disgrace the way Barcelona sold him for only 1 million euros. And he's scored as many goals as he did in 28 games last year for Barcelona. He scored 16 goals in 20, and he scored 16 goals in 28 for Barcelona. So my prediction is going to be Chelsea 2, Atletico Madrid 1. I'm going to go with a Luis Suarez goal, which will probably be the, the one that's going to score for them. And a goal from Mason Mount and Marcus Alonso to give Chelsea the away win. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. Bye.